Hello team, how's it going? Welcome to Combat Ready HQ. Welcome to a new video. So thank you for all those who have watched and welcome and thank you if you are new. We are looking at the NATO's newest member and that is Sweden. As always, you can check out the original video in the description. So make sure you go and check them out. This is by Forces News. Uh, I've been doing a few videos on Sweden now and it's been really interesting to learn about their military, specifically their army. Be sure to check out our free Discord if you want to join the community. The community is growing and it's brilliant. I'm really enjoying it and it's great to see it grow. Check us out on Instagram. Check out our new merch. We've got some hats up now, the old Tactical Warrior hats. We've got t-shirts, we've got our coffees. But let's get into it. As always, comment below with what your thoughts are and let's go. Sweden applied for NATO membership three months after Russia invaded Ukraine. After lots of political haggling, mainly involving Turkey, it's finally gained entry to the alliance. It brings a huge amount, an advanced military, a key geographical position that would allow NATO forces to quickly reinforce Norway and Finland, and a highly developed defence industry, a major asset, as NATO tries to rearm. So what about Sweden's military? What has it got? Well, first thing to say is it's comparatively small with just under 15,000 regulars. That's supplemented by around 11,500 reservists. It does have conscription, reintroduced in 2018, but it's small and selective, with only around 4,000 men and women called up. Sweden's army has just under 7,000 troops, but for such a small force, it's well equipped. It has 110 Leopard 2 main battle tanks, 319 CV-90 infantry fighting vehicles and 26 Archer self-propelled howitzers. These are the Swedish-designed rapid-fire artillery systems that the British Army is also buying. They can engage a target, fire and drive away in less than 20 seconds. Mega that Archer. Next up, Sweden's Navy. So the let's just start off with that though. The, the Army, as we know, relatively small, but the the technology and equipment they have is amazing. What our army's two seven, just over seventy odd thousand. We have two hundred thirteen Challenger twos. Looking at getting the Challenger three. They got seven thousand. They got one hundred ten Leopard twos. One of the best uh, main battle tanks out there at the moment. The Archer, which looks absolutely brilliant. I've seen it engage. I've seen it fire, and the British Army is buying it. So. Yes, we know the British Army can buy some useless things, but I would say the Archer is pretty decent. I've watched videos on the Rangers as well. You know, the Hunter Soldiers, and they are highly professional. So the Army does add a lot to NATO, and obviously the biggest thing, the geographical location between Norway and but Finland. Very capable, bigger than every other navy in the Baltic except Germany's. It tends to operate exclusively in the Baltic Sea and along the country's west coast. In terms of personnel, it has around 2,300, half as sailors, half amphibious forces. Vessel-wise, Sweden has, amongst other things, four submarines, five corvettes and seven mine warfare ships. Sweden's Gotland submarines have a unique engine that uses the power generated by expanding and contracting gases to drive the subsystems. It makes them particularly quiet and means they don't have to surface for weeks. That's good, isn't it? Finally, so straight away... Going into the Navy then, very, very small, but they got four submarines. There's not many nations out there that can say they've got four decent submarines. Okay, they're adding a lot to NATO. It's impressive Air Force to the North Atlantic Alliance. It includes 2,700 Air Force personnel and six squadrons of Gripen multi-role fighter jets produced by the Swedish company Saab. Sweden's Air Force operates around 100 Gripens, including a few of the newer E-model with upgraded avionics and sensor systems. It'll eventually get 60 of this newer plane. The Gripen's considered one of the world's most capable fourth generation plus fighters and can carry six air-to-air -air missiles, the same as the F-35. But it's also able to fire the Meteor air-to-air -air missile, which is faster and has more range than the AIM-120 used on the American aircraft. Sweden also has a highly regarded special operations group. So while it's relatively small, Sweden has a very capable military with huge experience of the Baltic region. By joining the alliance, Sweden has left behind 200 years of neutrality and non-alignment. Its membership both hugely symbolic and militarily important. 
another brick in the Western Wall against Vladimir Putin's territorial ambitions. Simon Newton, Forces News. Exactly that. Um, going on to the Air Force, obviously the Gripen, they're getting loads more of the E model, which some say one of the best fighter jets out there. Some believe it's better than the F-35. I really like the F-35, um, but the multi-role sort of dogfighting that the Gripen can do, um, you know, it really does put it up there as one of the best fighter jets out there. Also, with Sweden joining the Nordic Air Force, increases that capability uh, and then obviously Norway, Finland, Sweden, them are all being under NATO anyway, just helps with the NATO sort of organisation when it comes to calling up the Air Force and like it says, now reinforcing troops. Now Finland joined last year in 2023, you've got Sweden, then you've got Norway, that Western Front on Russia is now pretty well, I'm not going to use the word guarded, but pretty well well equipped for when it comes to sort of if there is any sort of advances or in, uh, or they do encroach which we do know they come across the border they send submarines around the north you know they're testing their your sort of response times with far you know the jets coming by so small 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 military um only a small amount of personnel but a large amount of equipment with a good amount of reserves to back it up, and then you've got the conscription. What they could do, because they already have the conscription in place, I believe they could do this. Obviously, it's increased the number of personnel they get through conscription, um, because obviously, like they said, it's very selective, only around 4,000 personnel, but because you've already got conscription in place and and, the population know about it, you could easily increase the amount. Um, that you send through conscription unlike the UK who don't have conscription anymore you'd have to obviously introduce it again um, which you'd get a bit more of a resistance to a country that's already got it didn't know though it only coming in 2018 personally I think Sweden is a well-equipped well-trained military yes the numbers are low and I think they would struggle on their own but the fact they've got the Nordic sort of air force they've got NATO now I think they add uh, quite a bit to what is already there. On their own, quite small, but very capable. But coming into NATO, um, I think with the equipment, the sort of, I wouldn't say combat experience because they don't have that, but the training uh, and the professionalism and the equipment they have, it brings a lot. So very interesting to see what happens with this. You know, hopefully no major wars kick off. Hopefully Russia, Ukraine does die down at some point, but he is there. Did you hear the other day about apparently a cruise missile entering into, I think it was Finland's airspace. Um, So there's always accidents like this can happen or he may just go, fuck it, let's just go, I've had enough of this and cross the border. We don't know. You know, he's gone into Ukraine, what's stopping him from going into anywhere else Um, or the narrative pushing it that way. So very, very interesting to see. I like what Sweden brings to the table. So well done, Sweden. Hope you enjoyed that video. As always, comment below what you want to see. Check out the Tactical Warrior Gear. Check out the Combat Ready Coffee. And I'll see you soon.